हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर प्रीतिश चिट्टे वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट इन वॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन टुडे सेशन वी आर डिस्कसिंग टाइप्स ऑफ मिलिंग ऑपरेशंस इन लास्ट सेशन वी आर डिस्कस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मिलिंग कटर्स नाउ टुडे वी कैन को रिलेट फॉर विच मिलिंग ऑपरेशन वी कैन यूज which milling cutter so this is for the course of manufacturing technology so what are the learning outcomes the students will be able to explain the different types of milling operations with respect to milling cutters first we will discuss the milling cutters so that will be the recap very fastly we can have the recap that is milling cutters and after that today's topic that is milling operations we will have the first recap of the milling cutters for example there is a plain milling cutter yes the cutting tooth that is at the periphery in case of side milling cutter the cutting tooth at the side ways also at the periphery also so on both sides we can have the milling operation in the shell face milling cutter suppose you are you want to provide the face milling operation on the last surface yes you can use the shell face milling cutter angular cut suppose you want to take the angular cuts or maybe the groove or maybe the slot yes you can use the angular milling cutter there are the two side angular milling cutter there is a one side angular milling cutter yes you in the figure you can see end mill cutter suppose you want to provide maybe the drilling operation or maybe for example maybe the facing operation yes you can use the end mill cutter already we have discussed the shell face milling cutter suppose you want to provide the irregular type of the shape or maybe the concave type of shape or maybe the convex type of shape yes you can use the form milling cutter that is called as counter milling operation or maybe the profile milling operation suppose you want to generate the t slot yes you can use the t slot milling cutter or suppose you want to provide the groove yes you can use the t slot milling cutter suppose you want to generate the different types of keys yes udrav key milling cutter that can be used now in today's session we are discussing different milling operations we have discussed already the different milling cutters so we can correlate the milling cutters to the milling operation now the plain milling operation suppose this is a workpiece and you want to provide the face milling or the milling operation on this particular workpiece that is a plain the type of milling cutter that is called as slab mill now the axis of the rotation of the or the movement of the workpiece the feed movement of the workpiece that is parallel to the axis of the slab mill cutter i will repeat my statement the feed movement of the workpiece that will be parallel to the axis of the the slab milling cutter after that the face milling now here you want to provide the cutting operation on this particular face this just i will use the pointer here yes you can see the face here this is the face on which you want to provide the cutting operation and you can see the axis for the milling cutter the workpiece is like this means you can say the feed of the workpiece that is perpendicular to the axis of the milling cutter yes that is in the vertical direction and this is in the horizontal direction the workpiece in the horizontal direction yes this is the workpiece and this is the we can call it as the cutting tool and you can provide the face milling operation so the slab milling cutter or maybe the shell face milling cutter that can be used here in case of face milling operation yes the shell face milling cutter that can be used in the face milling operation so the workpiece face that is very large and you can use the shell face milling cutter after that angular milling operation so which type of cutter or the milling cutter that you can use 
you can think angular milling cutter that you can use it here you can see here the v shape here the v shape notch that you want to generate here yes means the double shape or the double side angular milling cutter that you can use here yes you can see the double side angular milling cutter that we are using it here this is the spindle means this is the horizontal spindle or horizontal arbor that is fixed and on that your angular milling cutter that is fixed and it is rotating and the angular cuts that we can use it with the help of angular milling cutter so this is the angular milling operation that we can generate it with the help of angular milling cutters after that end milling operation for example at the side face or the at the end face of the workpiece you want to provide the milling operation end mill cutter that we can use or maybe suppose you want to provide the here drilling yes you can use it just i will yes so at the end point or the and the end of the surface the, uh, suppose you want to provide the milling operation yes you can use the end mill cutter here the workpiece is having in the the feed is having in the horizontal direction and the cutting tool is moving in this direction like this yes your cutting tool or the end mill cutter will be providing in this direction yes after that the form milling operation the form milling cutter that can be used that is convex cutter as we have discussed yes you can see the face or the shape of the here the counter yes the counter milling operation that also called as the shape of the convex cutter that will be achieved by the workpiece yes you can see this is the shape that is the convex shape of the milling cutter that will be achieved by the workpiece so this is the convex groove that is achieved by the convex cutter if suppose you want to use the concave cutter yes with the help of this like this you can achieve the the surface the shape of the surface for the workpiece the straddle milling cutter suppose you want to provide the milling operation on the both side of the workpiece so this is the spindle these are the collars and on the collars you can fix the two milling cutters this is the advantage so in the very less time suppose you want to generate the the two milling operation at the two surfaces of the workpiece so in that case the two milling cutters that we can fix it on the spindle that is with the help of collars so in the straddle milling cutters more than one milling cutter that can be mounted on the spindle or the arbor and with the help of which on the two sides of the workpiece we can provide the milling operation yes suppose for example this is the one surface of the workpiece and this is the another surface of the workpiece so at the two sides of the workpiece we can generate the milling operation with the help of two milling cutters that is mounted on the milling uh, we can call it a spindle or maybe the arbor gang milling operation what is mean by gang milling operation means more than one milling cutter that we can mount on the spindle yes for example you want to generate more and more than two or three slots on the workpiece yes you can see here now for example this is the one slot that you want to generate this is another slot that you want to generate this is one other slot you want to generate this is the four slot that you want to generate so here you can place another milling cutter like this and you can place another milling cutter like this means total four milling cutters you can place on the spindle because you want the four slots on the workpiece so more than one milling cutter that we can mount on the for example the spindle or maybe the arbor so that the more and more operations more than one operation we can generate we can provide we can produce at one time that is the advantage of the gang milling operation so what we can say in the gang milling operation on the spindle we can mount more than one milling cutter in case of for example the straddle milling cutter only you can place the two 
milling cutters so that you can have the two milling operation at the two sides but in case of gang milling operation more than two milling cutters that you can place it on the spindle so that we can have the more than two milling operations so suppose you want to generate the key weights so the for example the woodruff key milling cutter we can use yes you can see here that is a rectangular slot there is a door tail slot there is a slope and the door tail cutter you can use it here in case of t slot milling operation yes you can use the t slot milling cutter yes the t slots or the plain milling slot that you can generate or the t slots you can generate here with the help of t slot milling cutter now you can identify the milling operation here just a minute just i will start once again just give me a minute yes you can identify the milling operation here yes this is the milling operation like maybe the slots you can provide it multiple slots you can provide it these are the references thank you